Being gluten intolerant is the hottest eating trend in the New Age community since we found out you don't have to eat animals. Gluten is the new animal you don't have to eat. Being gluten intolerant used to be limited only to those who are actually intolerant to gluten. But with the cutting edge information I'm sharing with you in this video, you too can be gluten intolerant regardless if you're truly intolerant to gluten or not. Being gluten intolerant is a fantastic opportunity for you to assert your dominance on the lives of everyone around you, which helps improve your life. So if you're ready to have a ravenous appetite for impossible standards and dogmatic feelings of victimization, then let's get started on what you need to do to become gluten intolerant. Be restaurant savvy. Go to regular restaurants and order. After they've brought you exactly what you've ordered, you discover there's gluten in it. This is the exact time you'll want to profess your gluten-free morals to the waiter. Is there gluten in that pizza? Yes. I didn't know that when I ordered it. I can't eat that. I'm gluten intolerant. It's a condition. You're going to have to take that back. Tell people about your most disgusting bodily functions. Being gluten intolerant means you're entitled to tell people about the offensive things that happen to you if you eat gluten. Because they're not gluten free, they're obligated by law to listen. I would get diarrhea on the spot. I mean, I would literally explode right now if I ate any gluten. Then I'd have bloody diarrhea every day. No, I said bloody diarrhea. What do you think I said? These don't have any gluten in them, do they? starting to get a headache. I think those had gluten in them. Mm. Give expert medical advice. Once you take your gluten-free vows, you'll need to have an automatic understanding that every medical condition is caused by gluten. Depression, it's always caused by gluten. Obesity, that's 100% gluten. Every single case of cancer is caused by gluten. I swear gluten's what killed Gandhi. Never let anyone's efforts be good enough for you. If you're at a friend's house and they've gone out of their way and think they've met the Da Vinci Code of your gluten-free demands, they're not trying to be friendly. They're trying to overthrow your reign of control and dominance. You can't let this happen. You'll want to play the trump card of another food intolerance that you've never told them about before. This puts you back in the driver's seat. This is all 100% gluten-free. That's so nice of you. Thank you. It doesn't have any dairy in it, does it? Because I can't eat dairy either. Know your nutritional facts. Since being gluten-free is a nutritional philosophy based entirely on what not to eat, you don't know what you're actually supposed to eat. This means you have zero knowledge of what good nutrition actually is. But don't worry about that. To fill this small little loophole, you'll need to preach with conviction that anything that has no gluten in it is healthy for you. Want some? They're gluten free. You need as many as you want. So good for you. Don't I look more vibrant from these? I feel like my bones are getting stronger. Pretend to enjoy gluten free alternatives. Let's say you find a new gluten free bread. How are you supposed to enjoy this coagulation of mysterious flowers that form a brick with a density of a black hole in the dryness of a desert? Answer, you're not. You're supposed to pretend to. This is like paying your membership dues to belong to the high society of being gluten intolerant. How is it? It's enjoyable. Can I grab a glass of water? condescendingly enjoy new gluten discoveries. When you learn of a new food that has trace amounts of gluten in it, enjoy the renewed sense of purpose that floods into your life while you sit on top of your moral high ground made out of rice flour. Did you know now they're putting gluten in potato chips? I didn't know that. Glad I'm informed. Seclusion makes gluten healthier. Understand that when no one's around, you somehow become less gluten intolerant. How does this happen? Well, based on medical evidence that's yet to be discovered, there's a direct correlation between how many people are around and how gluten intolerant you are.
continuously read books that advocate a gluten-free lifestyle. You do this even though you know the plot, moral of the story, and how the book ends before you even start it. You'll want to avidly stay abreast on how the latest author takes 300 pages to say, don't eat gluten. It's such a good book, and I can't wait to get to all these. Rave about your results. At this point, you're just mindlessly reciting the results you've had since you've been gluten-free so that you can justify your nutritional dogma. What if you haven't seen any improvements? No problem, just make some up. Nobody will know the difference or care. My abs have gotten razor sharp since I've been gluten-free, big time. I mean, seriously. I don't know if this is from no gluten or if you Photoshop these things onto me. At this point, you're armed to live a good life being gluten intolerant. Enjoy. My head hurts so bad. I think there was definitely gluten in those chips. Ugh.